Hey, one push of the button, I got it. Did it? You need to come to order. Now, Peg, you didn't do the minutes. Is that true? That's a true statement. Okay, that's the first. I know. But she was in the emergency room, so damn, we have to give her a break. Yeah, all right? Yeah. You can do all three of these at once. I will be, Dan. Thank you. Let's get that. That's good. Karen, do you have anything other than the meeting? Uh, no, we've got enough to cover. I yeah. have to get right into it. We're going to go to the budget then. There's no public here. And I'd like to start with culture and recreation. Get John out of here, Joe, because his stuff is pretty fast. And we'll start with the Brookside Cemetery. The cemeteries are under Park Department. Uh, I see minor increases in salary, but nothing. We're doing Brookside Cemetery. I'm you guys are all set. I'm with you. Yeah. I don't see any. Uh, the request is for the request and the matching recommended is the same. I saw that a lot in the budget. So anything mm -hmm. on it, John? No, we pretty much stay level funded on our expenses, slight increase on salary, mm -hmm. step increases. Uh, the regular salary is a one full-time position, the part-time regular is a 39-week position. Now, does so a full-time guy go to both cemeteries or just Brookside? The East Street is ours as well. I know, does he do that too? Yeah. Yeah. Who does the Main Street cemetery? They're their the Main own Street stuff. Cemetery yeah. Committee. They're their, their own suffering yeah. people. Right. Floyd and there's... Brookside, the, East yeah. Street. All right, got yeah. it. Uh, Conflers, anything? Uh, no. Brookside? Yeah. Let's go to Main Street Cemetery. Mm -hmm. uh, it's obviously nothing much there. What are we paying for there, uh, Karen? Hmm? Are we paying for anything on the Main Street Cemetery? I mean, I'm just curious. Page 79. Personnel services, 1,000. Purchase of services. So we pay somebody to come in and do something then. Right. They, uh, oh, the Main Street? Yeah. They pay uh, for Riverside grass and all of that. So the, the money goes right to the board. Of, um, I, I was, here, let me see what they're looking at. Hmm? Two lines, so that's, that's one other looking at. That's looking her, at the, well, what's his name? Hey, Joe. The, the, the clerical, yep. And then that's for... Joe, we started with... Uh, yeah, they've... Hi, Joe. Culture and recreation. They're doing their stuff first. Okay. They, they pay out, they, they hire Riverside to do their, their lawns and trash. And so this money goes directly to them to pay for purchase. All right. I don't have any other questions to you. Yeah. Going to Tree Warden. It's still Mr. Magnum. Yep. George Malaga still in the Tree Warden. Guy must be 90 years old. He's <laughs> young. Hey, he's now. younger than I am. Don't tell George that. So when it says over pay, overtime pay, so he's he's getting money elsewhere in the city and yeah he's, just, he's the park foreman so when he does this when he does he, yeah so, he's, so yeah he had two tree hearings in the last month okay. um, so he has to attend tree hearings and then when there's uh, emergency tree damage like on a sunday things like that okay. tree warden so. services is that pay it out services to somebody else yeah that's when we contract out contract out for uh yeah okay. taking trees down pruning things like that for city trees okay Anything else? Dan? Go set back? Yep. And now we're going to go to culture and recreation. I'm going to do the library, even though it's not necessarily under you, just to get that whole department done. 220K up from 203. What's the reason for that? The state mandates. State mandates? Well, their percentage. They have a formula that they provide that you have to, you know, like in other words, they okay. won't get their minimum. That's their funding. So they won't be able to get their. We have to provide a certain amount so the state. Yeah, and it changes. As you notice, it goes up a little bit every year. Then it allows them if uh, to apply for other grants and things like that. Got it. So their certifications. Okay. It's not mandatory that we give it to them, <laughs> but if we don't, then they won't be able to get their certifications. And actually, there are waivers for it too, but. So we give them what's required by the well, state Well, it's formula. actually 205. I'm sorry. They asked yep. for 220. Yep. And you only went up $2,000. We gave them what the state formula was. Why um, did they ask? They just asked for a lot. Well, they they actually wanted, um, they actually asked for more than that. They, they were looking for 
um, you know, like another additional $80,000 to do some things. So what they need to do is they, they have endowments, so they need to put together capital plans. We had two different meetings on this. Oh, okay. So they need to put together a plan for what they're looking, you know, what their capital is looking. They don't have a capital plan, maybe do a five-year plan or a 10-year plan and look at what they can use for their endowments. And so they're just looking to make some changes and make some improvements. And as you know, Dan, they've received some um, CPA funds in the past. Yep. So, sure. so we're giving them what, uh, what gets them the accreditation. Okay. Any other questions, counselors? Mm -hmm. okay. Recreation? I don't have any. It looks like a step increase in salary here or something. Yeah. That's about it, though. Everything else looks pretty level funded in the department. Any questions from the counselors? Anything you want to bring up? Uh, no, pretty much everything level funded. Well, it looks like you requested a certain amount and you got a certain amount. It's always nice when the mayor doesn't cut you. We well, don't ask for much. We well, don't, we don't, we don't, we don't jump above our, our but, but honestly, there's a, you know, the one thing everybody does need to know, there's a lot more to it than that. You know, okay. like this is, this is a process that is really basically like more, more than close to a six month process. It starts basically in December. And John was uh, heavily, heavily hit last year. So, um, you know, we try to, you know, the cuts are different. And as, as you know, this year, because of the different things we've been doing in the last, uh, this will be the third, my third budget. So because of the different changes and implementations, we are able to add staffing. So it, it's, you know, John was one of the ones that suffered dearly last year, <laughs> among, mm -hmm. among most, um, among all of us. Mm -hmm. Jumping over a non-budgeted, the community center is not budgeted, moving on to Park Department. Um, salaries, who are we paying for there? So the first full line, times? the first line is two full-time year-round positions, uh, the park foreman and um, park maintenance director, I guess would be the second title. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one, um, clerical is just uh, $600 pay for the year for mm -hmm. some clerical services for, uh, yeah. for a senior. Um, temp positions is Summer. security, yep, security, toll booth, um, in those positions. Um, seasonal, part-time seasonal workers for park maintenance as well, 29.5 hours a week. Uh, and then some weekend work mm -hmm. uh, as well. There's a weekend position in there. And your, your su supplies seem to be level funded? For the most part, yes. Yep. Light heat and power went down, and I assume that's because the cost of energy is down? Is that why that's down? Well, no, we're hoping that this is for, this is your your new housing. So oh, the housing will the be new a little office, bit. and as John had explained how totally inefficient it was in the summer and the winter between heating and air conditioning, it was just constant. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping that this will be a big difference. Yeah, we're, think. I think we're going to see probably about a There's no holes to the outside. Uh, savings just to, just on that one utility bill itself, the, the new office compared to the old one. Right, I heard there was a citywide mandate you can't bring the temperature up above 55. <laughs> <laughs> that was the old. No, I was just going to say. That was the old office because it wouldn't go above 55 <laughs> in the winter time. We'd never get there. Uh, what does longevity mean again? I always forget. Oh, uh, there's a, the, for the pay plan people, there's longevity is after you're here 10 years. Um, you uh, are able to receive, and it's for me, um, it's a 10 year longevity, but you real I had to be here 12 years to get my, you get $100 in December uh, a year for longevity. Mm -hmm. And it, it increases after, you know, 15 years, 20 years, mm -hmm. but it increases by $100. Um, very different, uh, very um, minimal compared to what most longevities are. Most of them are a week's pay. Is, you know. is um, longevity kick in once you reach your max step? No, longevity kicks in after ten, 10 years. years. Okay. You have to be here 10 years, and then it's the 10 years after the January after your starting right. date. Right. So I was here 12 years to get my 10 year long, <laughs> my $100 10 year longevity. Did they you come spend out it all December. in one place? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Christmas for everyone. <laughs> for 31 years, I think I'm up to 400. Mm -hmm. Right. 
Well, that's too much. We have to cut that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, it, and it, it, it goes up very, very slowly, and it's not really anything compared to what a longevity is supposed to be. Uh, John, just to inform the other counselors are new, we went over revenues real quick, but you bring in a lot at the toll booth. Could you, do you remember how much that is? Because that money helps provide funds, guys, for the park. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious if you had that figure. Oh, he's ready. <laughs> there's the last. As a matter um, of since fact, two, I do. Since 2010, there's our revenues that we've, we've taken in. Very nice. Um, <laughs> that was very slick. Very slick. So, so, yeah, so there's I didn't even tell you I was going to ask this. <laughs> we didn't even uh, uh, Pavilion, school, cemetery, and, and then the bottom line number. Is 110. Part of that. So uh, that's, yeah, that's what. Have you raised fees a little bit? No. So that's just more usage then? That's more usage. And that's this year, um, pavilion rentals are already up 25% at this point compared to last year. So we'll see. Um, vehicle was down a little beautiful. bit last year um, based on we had some retention problems and employment uh, for the toll booth. So right. they, you know, we had people, got people that, that call it, yeah, <laughs> they called out on a Saturday, busy Saturday, and, you know, two hours was lapsed over before we could charge people, things like that. So. We had a little bit of an issue there. We have uh, two returning people from last year that helped us finish out last fall, so we're we're confident that we can. Um, well, you basically they jump in the pool. Wow. Yeah, that was uh, that was a. I don't know where that oh, seemed very a hot summer. Very, yeah. <laughs> wow. And a lot after of last the, winter, I think people were just yeah, looking so to get please, in the water. A lot of questions that we get, not only complaints because we charge, but it's only a charge on weekends. But a lot of questions we get, why can't we charge residents less than, you know, non-residents? And that's because one of the grants we received is a requirement, yes. You know, because you receive... You have to be careful when you, when you take in state money mm -hmm. um, on charging yep. uh, more fees for, for out of Because we get that problems. question a lot, so just so you know... It makes asking. sense, because it's state money. It's, it's state, state money. Statewide yep. taxes. It's Public. not just East Hampton's tax. Yeah, so we, we, you know, we've taken... In but you pay for half of the park budget with your totals here. That's great. Or at least this budget. Any other questions on the park? Guys? No, it's not a state park, though. No, it's not a state park at all. It's a city park. But what when we received, was it the playground? It's not only the playground, but uh, the spring, like the sprinkler area. Yep, um, um, so there was a couple of grants and that this is associated with the park now. This is a park right. right. This, was, no this was a here. this was a park grant. The pond ranch, was a park yeah. grant. Do you see any issues with this with regard to maintaining it or um, any, uh, it hasn't been too too bad um, you know there's there's going to be some you know we have to do some power washing this this spring and the garbage it was a lot with the trash a lot with the trash it, the, 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 the trash was more yeah more than we thought would happen but you know that was learning yeah, that you know, so it's it's got a new well, rotation. Well, with the boat room, with the boats, the rental boats, is that we, still? Yeah, I, we, uh, we um, yeah, we we bid it out. Did an RFP. Yeah, we bid it out in, what, March? February into March. Right. We, had, we opened the bids in end of March and, and didn't have anybody interested in doing boat rentals at this time. Uh, potentially, you know, some suitors were, were you know, maybe next year they'd be interested. Yeah. Um, we will bid it out again. We'll offer it up again, and if someone's interested in, in providing that service, um, we'll, we'll definitely bid it out again to see if we can get someone to, to take interest. Well, in individuals that. can put their boat on the water. Right? Yes. Oh, Mike Tosin said he made it. He didn't qualify. His yeah. bid was uh, not. It didn't meet the. Yeah, his bid didn't meet the yeah. qualification. There was the there bid. was one bid. It was his, but it didn't it meet any of the qualifications. Of okay. It for, didn't. For it didn't have. Wasn't a complete package. So, um, based on, because I did the CPA, uh, improvements, we have the ball fields, soccer fields, are we at a point where they're almost done with what they need to do? With ball fields, there? absolutely, yeah. There's, there's, no, you're more, just looking there's, at there's no more pool footprint. as the next major yeah, it's, item? It's, yeah, it's uh, renovating current infrastructure. Um, the pool, um, the entrance to the park itself um, is, is a traffic nightmare. Most traffic issues. Yes, it's it needs to be it needs to be redesigned. The toll booth hat should be put into the park itself, um, so people can use daily field because um, people have to exit the other way the other way as the other people are coming in the other way. So you're crossing traffic patterns, um, which is you know, just not good. Um, 
So that's 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 one of the one of the projects that we're interested in doing is mm -hmm. the front and redoing the playground up there as well and adding some um, handicap accessible um, features so that can get more use um, for that as well. And then pool and then the playground that we did last year, um, adding some parking in front of that and some fencing and stuff. So that's that's a minor um, cost in the scheme of things, um, but those are the, the projects pool we're looking at. Okay. Yeah, pool is a big one. The playground from last year got raves. Yeah. It's, it's like second it's, to none. It's, um, yeah. Definitely and that was total grant funds. Yep. So um, after the park, there's some full budget something on here. Memorial Day, Veterans Services, $250. Yeah. Those so are flag, those are flags the, and yep, things. John, our veterans agent. Not this John, the other the other John. Okay. Well, that's everything on cultural recreation. Does anybody else all, have any all questions? That's, that's, yeah. that's all of mine. Yeah. Um, I move that we accept the appropriation. I don't have the thing in front of me. I don't think I need to read it out, but the total appropriation for um, the uh, Culture and Human Services Department. Do we need the figure? I don't think we have to state the figure, as long as we vote to it. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. I should have brought those with me and I didn't. Okay. <coughs> Thank you. Have a good night. Thanks, John. Have a good night, John. John. Public work. Back to the office. DPW. Go take a jump in the pool. <laughs> Thanks, John. Have a good night. Thank you. DPW administration. Level funded on salaries. Requested matches. Then I don't see a level funding on services, etc. So the total for DPW administration. Do you know where we are? Yep, you're under. Um, you're right under administration. You're on the top line, administration, right? Right. I'm. Yep. I'm going all the way down yep. to the bottom because. What we have is a requested stage of 205957 and a recommended stage that is exactly that. I have no questions. Do you have anything, Patty or Joe, you want to bring up at all? No. Okay. Do you have any questions? So have you seen a, um, a reduction in your fuel? because of the reduction in we'll, we'll get that's, to that. that's the next it's not this one that's not that's just our office running our office oh okay. yes the next one is fuel next one's fuel okay and that's page 60 so nothing on administration i didn't i was asking you yep. dan you have nothing no. so DPW fuel account, it went down, and is that primarily because of the price of oil and gas? I take a, like a five-year estimate, and come up with estimates for gallons and estimates for cost, and that's how I get it. So that's like going back five and then projecting Five or three, forward. yeah, depending on what's going on. It looks like you didn't have to come to us for extra money like you did the previous year. No. It was 150 and it's still 150 I mean, it was an increase. That's good. Let's hope the price stays low. That's right. mm -hmm. the is, is that your question answered? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because that's not only the DPW company, that is the company. Company. Yeah, they, they fuel, they f you fuel the fire trucks too, right? Yep. Yes. Everybody. Okay. Okay. They get like a, all up. a mile to the gallon. They're all on petrol. Yeah. You have you have both gasoline and, uh, diesel. and diesel. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. We're just under fuel. All right. Um, what's next? DPW Engineering is next, if I'm right. Yes. So. Is that one person? One person. So if I might, it looks like you just hired a new engineer and you gave him a mid-level salary, Joe and Karen. Towards the higher, but not mid. But what tells me, this is good because a long time ago I had an argument with the previous mayor about hiring people based on their qualification, their years of experience, et cetera. 
not just starting them at the first step because they're yeah, working for We don't family. do that anymore. Right. I am so we glad do because not do it that attracts anymore. better people. Right. right. So right. Very well done. Right. Um, a lot of times we don't bring anybody up at the max. Um, this isn't max, is it? No. 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 But we don't bring anybody at the max because honestly they have nowhere to go right. after that, you know. But um, but you paid you them know, just about what you paid. We James. you know pay a lot of attention to. Like, but it's seventy two. Am well, I right on that? No. This was already happening. done. Before. Right. This was before we, just hired we hired somebody. We oh, this like isn't this the budget week. for him. No. Well, this isn't his salary. I apologize. Right. This no. is the budget for that department, but he came in after the budget. Really, way after. Okay, so. So there's going to be a few week, extra thousand. Yeah. He, he just started Monday, just to let you know. Okay. Which is which we're thrilled. That's great. Yeah, it Good. is great. Where's he from? What's his name? Mike should have He comes from Tiny Bond. Oh, good. Yeah. Day two. Day two. <laughs> So would there be a, a transfer or something mental for nope. his salary? No, so it's like, in his. Sorry. It's in the okay. engineer. He's We've just been without an engineer for a long time. Right. right. Oh, okay. Right. So the budget is higher than the actual salary, Joe. I think that's what she's saying. So. Right. But right. So what what Dan was asking is it, it, is the amount that's you know that we that we put in the budget the seventy two five twenty seven mm -hmm. that's not his amount. We right. didn't know what he would be making. Right. That's the money that was put in the in the you know in the budget. So what will happen then in the next fiscal year? Does that money then get if not used? Or? If not used, it you know goes, goes back into the general cash, fund like free cash. But a lot of times, you know, it can be used in other areas. Money can be moved within the budget. Yep. You know, up and down, or the expense lines. A lot mm -hmm. of them, you know, they can go into a deficit as long as the expenses are not in a deficit, or personal services is not. But money can be moved up and down. Departments okay. can transfer within their department but they can't transfer between departments that's exactly. what the mayor does yeah. we have to approve right them. well i do the interdepartments right. too yeah but you, we don't have to approve that's them. correct that's but saying. we get we get to get copies all right. okay all right sounds good any questions on uh, engineering for anybody okay moving on to street maintenance there's nothing there that got combined with traffic a year or two ago yeah i remember that now okay dpw highway Looks like we hired somebody here. <coughs> okay, this uh, is we, one of the additions. We added a position? Yep, this is one of the positions that was added this Excellent. year. So how many do we have there? There's currently seven, and we're hoping for eight after July 1. So you have eight. Does that put us, what would still your- Still down. Still down one? Still down, we were nine and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> it was still down. But it's nice it's going the other direction. Absolutely. It's been Can't come down. No, not at all. Nope. So is this a group that do they do the clearing of the streets in the winter and the painting yes. of the streets yes. in the potholes, sweeping, you name cleaning, it. fixing, yep. Mm -hmm. yep. all the ones you see all the time on the road? Yeah. So, okay. just so I know this, that looks like a thirty thousand dollars salary, let's say, but the actual cost, Melissa, is like fifty without benefits and everything. Is it something like that? When yeah, you add up really. Everything? Benefits, you know, like we usually kind of estimate maybe like a twenty, but it's. You know, like, like you have 10, to, it's not 12. just, it's not just health insurance, you know, it's like all your, your, you know, it's kind of all of your. Just your so people know when, if they asked me, it's, you know, yeah, the salary's 30 something, but there's a lot more into it that the city pays for. Right, but it's not in that line. No. I know, I know yeah, that. That's why I'm asking. It's, right. it's in a different line. Right. And you can't not, tell what it's it not costs there. just based on right. that. Right. What's professional services? When falls into that. When we hire someone? The 530, the 5319, that's mm -hmm. technical services when we hire out. But go ahead, Patty. Where are we? The 5319. Professional services, a big chunk of that is police officers working with the guys on the road. When there you go. The road, the, the cop there. That's good. That costs us a fortune. Yep. <laughs> I just see, did COPS last week and it was over $10,000 for our Chapter 9 right. for a week. Yeah. And you'll see that not only in highway, you'll see it in water, you'll see it in sewer. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. The overtime budget, it should, I know you level funded it, but with a new person, would that help us a little bit on overtime? No. 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 <laughs> I, I could schedule. dream. I could dream. It's a set <laughs> schedule. See, a lot, okay. of the, a lot of their overtime is uh, recycling. So this the Saturdays. Saturdays. So there's guys that have got to be there, so it's like a lot of it's car accidents, 
you know, they have to come in. They, when they do the striping, obviously they can't do it in the middle of the day. They come in in the middle right. of the night. They do striping. They do the okay, crosswalks. That's when they're right. doing the that's, painting, that's sweeping important. overnight. Right. Okay, plus traffic. And then rentals? Is that just for additional equipment? We have, we call it a Duro patcher, and it comes in instead of putting that coal patch in that comes right back out. They actually start doing that towards the spring, and they hire this machine. It's okay. too expensive for us to buy, so we actually rent it, and it puts out better material. It costs more next year? Well, we're looking for more rentals or see what we it can It may get. not cost more, but our roads are getting worse. <laughs> oh, okay. So we have to keep it longer. We have to keep it longer. I got you. And tires, tubes, chain, that would weigh up. Um, one of the loaders. One unit 60 needs new tires, $10,000 for the tires. Yeah. That this one is, this is a loader. The a loader costs $10,000 per tire? No, for all of them. Tire. Oh, four of them. Four. That's, four. That's four tires, Dan. Not <laughs> <laughs> well, to say, $10,000. i got to get the tire business. vehicle equipment repair, is that just a new line? Because it's like all zeros and then it's 10000 No, you're looking at... Repair snow related. What happened is we are no longer allowed to, we used to have out of our snow budget, we were allowed to fix trucks if there were sanders broken, certain things and if it ran a sander. But now we're no longer allowed to do that, so they put some more money into our operating budget because we can no longer code it as snow, it has to come out of the highway. So if one of their trucks is broken, even if it's during the winter because of the snowstorm, we have to pay for it out of that. Uh, that's materials. Uh, repair and maint. That's all maint. the vehicles. Any okay. loader, and that's so basically, it's the same. Okay. Twenty-five dollars in state travel. Yeah. They're, Tony they're down everywhere. there, people. They're everywhere. Just <laughs> try to stay home once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so I have that. nothing else in highway. Do you have anything else in highway? No. Dan, nothing? Street improvement. So this, I'm just curious. We have Chapter 90 money to fix streets. You don't have to put it in a line someplace? No That's not there? this, no. Chapter oh. 90 is a completely different animal. It's not a budgeted item. So it's, where do we put You can't use Chapter 90 for maintenance. You can't use Chapter 90 for patching policies. Oh, really? No. So they give us so much money and we have to bid it under their regulations. To make, not repairs, but like full-time replacement of? Yeah, reconstruction, yeah. what you just saw on Reconstruction. Memphis, I, they don't consider that maintenance. They consider that reconstruction. That's right. That's right. Okay. There's certain criteria that, that you have to meet to use that Chapter 90 fund. And they give us an allotment and they say your allotment this year is, what, $480,000. And what we have to do is fill out a project request form and say we want to use that money. They, they don't send it to Melissa. Right. They tell you you got it, but you got to spend it they first. They keep it. And then, then they'll reimburse uh -huh. you. Mm -hmm. So we have to put a project request form and say we want to spend it on this road doing this. And then they'll go, okay, you can do it. And when you spend the money, send us the receipts and show us you spent the money and we will send you back a check. Melissa, how fast do they reimburse us on these things? Sometimes faster than others. Sometimes yeah. it's 30 days, sometimes it's 60, some days it's 90. It depends on what the state's doing. Right. Mm -hmm. to our cash flow. I guess it's our some, some years it got really bad, yeah. and you just call every week and they get sick of hearing from you. <laughs> yes, but keep squeaking that wheel. It did. It worked. <laughs> it worked. Mm -hmm. So street improvement then is probably in highway now. All of these lines that are no longer funded. Right? No, no, it's now in traffic. It's right. in traffic? 4260. Okay. okay, good. And uh, moving on to snow and ice, that's 200,000 is what we always do. No, what we did this what we did this no. year is 200. 15. What we did um, two years ago in 15, we did 125. It's always been 115. 15, 115, and then we went. 114, 650 for, was the year. Was well, what are we looking at? Because I'm just looking at, at the bottom Fiscal line. Fiscal 15, we did 115,000. You're looking at probably actual, what was it, what the actual amount. Oh, right. right. And then. I don't see 115,000. Because it, it, it's, it's showing you the actual. It's showing you 2015 uh, actual. Yeah, because we have we a lot actually of snow. Spent. That's what we actually spent, but we only budgeted 115,000 in so 2015. Went up just to make it so we went up. We went up last year, and then we went up this year. And you're mandated to go up, right? No. No. 
as this year. This year is the same as last year, but we went up last year. Right. Yeah. And when we don't spend it, it goes to free cash just like any other budget. We've never not spent that amount. Right. I go back to 2008, and the least amount we ever spent on snow was $210,000. I believe that in my 30 years, it was one year around 1990, 1991 or something. We did not spend the entire $100,000 whatever. But once you budget a amount, you could never budget less than that for the following year, correct? Right. right, and so, so in other words, in, fifth, in 2015 and, and before that, we budgeted 115,000, which was extremely low. But you know, you need to balance your budget. So last year we did 200. We bumped it up to a more normal number, seeing how we spent close to six. So um, this year we kept the same 200. Okay. And we only needed 70 out of free cash. We just did that. this year, right? Th basically, a little under 70,000. So very good. So it was closer. So did you really like in 2014 and 2015? It looks like there's a quarter of a million dollars in salt use, right. and then it just plummets after that. So is that really, is that really how much we? Spend? I mean, the price of well, it's not just that. We it's had a really bad winter. Right. Right. Oh, but we, know, we but changed still. products. So we, we, but the, we changed products eight years ago. So that, okay. that, that would, would, would reflect here. But yeah. the price of salt. Yeah. It's got yeah. too. The, the price of salt goes up, too. And yeah. they ran out of salt last year, didn't they? Oh, last oh. year we could they never pay. Like you were, you yeah. were waiting to get it in an afternoon. You know, you would be waiting. It might be yeah. coming, you know, Wednesday afternoon. Yeah. Last year, we're everybody the, was. We're hoping the delivery beat the storm. This year, I actually. Did a split contract for the first time. We tried it, and of course, it, we don't know how it worked because we didn't have them yet. But I actually did like a 75 25 because we have a company that seems to sell all the salt, and then they, they just say, No, you can't have any more. We're done. Oh. We're, so we're hoping there's a new company and they want to sell. So we went with 25% on them, hoping that we could. So um, I think we'll do that again. We this just didn't here need enough salt right. need enough salt so we're hoping that'll help us because mm -hmm. there's been times where we've been sitting here going last year there's nothing in the salt shed last year was really bad so really if you take out 14 and 15 which look to be anomalies mm -hmm. in terms of no no, no we've had bad no. years this yeah. year is more like an anomaly. 16 absolutely right this year is the yeah 16 the was year. a nightmare yeah. so is it likely then that 17 because we're budgeting the way we did for 16 because when you're looking at 16 here, you're going to see you're, you're seeing you're not seeing the the, the, not the seeing actual. actual. That was the one that hit us out of the you know out that of the park. It was 650,000 right. in FY15. It's, it's FY14, there. FY14, we spent 500. FY13, 411. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's always we FY. So we expect then 17. Although we're budgeting 200,000, it'll mm -hmm. be over there. Yes. Oh, we have a snow okay. emergency. If okay. we don't have a snow emergency, I'd be shocked. It shot. just happened that but this year we But you'll also see how we move to other things that cannot be used in the snow and ice anymore to prevent early, you know, it's, right. in other words, to prevent early, they're trying, we, we're trying to put them back in their repair and maintenance budgets so it doesn't come out of this, so that it co doesn't cause them to go into um, snow emergency as, as quick. As quick. Okay. You know? Now, if you look at what we pay for in the sand of the school, that's substantial too. Is that a separate line? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Oh, school plowing. But you pegging the reason why we un the under budget here for two reasons. One is this is one of the accounts you can deficit spend on. You can actually right. go into debt for and get it back from free cash. Okay. So you can save or, that money for other places. And then also, if you budget what you use in the following year, you have to budget that right again. again. So it, that's okay. Or they won't look okay. at deficit spend. Right? Okay. Right. right. And you don't year. have to. Like what we've done this year and last year, this fiscal year and last fiscal year, is we've used our free cash to pay off that deficit. But you are, it, as Joe was trying to explain, it's one of the few one of the few things you can go into a deficit and, and it would come off, it would, so for us, if we didn't pay it off with free cash, it comes right off the top of, two, of fiscal two, uh, 2017 funds. Okay. But you know, we, we're at a point we can't afford anything to come off the top. So when we have some free cash, we're paying it off. Mm -hmm. Especially last year, to start off with you know, 500,000 off, off the top of the budget is, is just too much of a hit. Yep. We were lucky that it just happened to be Years where we had decent free cash. Anything else on snow and ice? Moving to street lights, which is under the mayor. Why are we up 
to 76 from 48. Is that the kilowatt hour price? Yes. Um, okay. So this is one of the budgets that I just came back to before. Now that we know we're, we have a locked in price for energy, mm -hmm. and this was one of the ones that we needed to do a transfer this year. So we're trying to plan on putting the funds in there so I don't have to call. In other words, it was under budgeted last year. You yes. weren't sure this year. Yes. You're more sure. Okay. Yes. Trying to get a better estimation of, you know, of the costs. Everything else looks nominal. Okay. Any questions more on fuel? DPW motor repair? Two staff. The step increase? I'm, I'm sorry, how many staff? Two. two. No, no, no step, step increase. increases. They're all at max. It's just their contract. It's One contracted, and uh, whatever they got. One and a half. Okay. One and a half. Okay. It's nice to see that we have max. I just have to say that, that we have people at max. In other words, they don't mind working for the city. We have a lot of people at max. I know. They, the, especially, especially the pay plan. So how many uh, unions do we have? Police, fire, teachers? Eight. 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 Wow. There's four I schools. Four or There's four schools. Oh, okay. The schools is teachers, um, custodians, uh, the secretaries, and what's the what's the other one I'm missing? There's one more. The paras. The paras. Oh, okay, but there's there's four. Cafeteria? Not anymore. Not, not anymore. They, you know. But then anyway, there's four of them, and then there's uh, two DPW unions, which makes six, and police and fire, which makes eight, mm -hmm. and one non 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 union group, which are the pay plan people, which are the people you see sitting here at the table tonight. <laughs> okay. Any other questions on motor repair? DPW traffic. Looks like we got a couple people back. This is no personnel at all. Right. Oh, it's professional services. Professional services. And this again, the police. No. No, this is edge lines, markings, sidewalks, <laughs> crosswalks. Right. So we hire edge. out all that work. A lot of it. No, we do a lot of it. Well, sweeper parts. The certain ones we do. Contracted are the center lines, right. the edge lines. Right. The sidewalks we bid out. Crosswalks we do. Um, so this 61 pays for contracted out people. Yeah. Okay. We have to take care of the traffic signals, the guardrails, maintenance on the sweeper. So you have to pay for that. Okay. And big thing that we're getting, and we're getting a big hit, is the signage. Every sign, every oh, time. Right. City council asks us to put up a sign. It's costing us 150 dollars. We can no longer, we used to have a sign shop down there and the guys could make their own signs, no longer allowed. And we found out that all these signs were supposed to be upgrading, they're no longer right. so up to federal standards. So you're not telling us not to ask you for signs? Yes. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> so the stop signs, stop. stop signs. Yeah, stop signs, we don't yeah. mind. But, well, okay, yeah. No parking signs? No parking signs. We, we don't like no parking signs. But, but like the street sign, that, that Williston Ave sign doesn't meet regulations. You can't have all capital letters. It has to be capital W with small. Who makes you change it? The state? It's called Federal? Manual on Uniform Traffic Control Devices. It's wow. about this thick. So how long do you have before you have to fix that? We should have done that um, probably in 2000. We're down two thousand. years. Are they Can going we be to fine? fine you or something? Um, if they care to. Well. Replace the signs that the federal government said you have to replace. That no one has a problem with, and they're easier to read. Well, they I don't know how somebody. Easier. I don't, I don't think they're easier to read. I think actually that too. sign is very easy you to read. You know what? This is. I'm, I'm serious. We got to talk to yeah, our federal well, representatives. Yeah. Yeah. It's easier now. These are easier. Yeah, that's what Peg said. I agree. And certain colors. I mean, if I can see it, it's easier to read. Oh, they don't like <laughs> They don't like the seals on them. They don't like the seals. So, so in, in other words, you know, because of the expense of signs, um, the the DPW uh, would really like to be involved in uh, in any conversations where the city councilors are looking at areas to put in, say, you know, uh, ten street signs, that type of thing, because of the you know the extraordinary expense. So they would like to be part of those. 
you know, part of those conversations. Many times in the past. Other councils here who pass that on. What um, <laughs> is that? Pu public safety? Who, which yeah. public safety? Public safety. Public safety. Okay. So yeah, but, because uh, when they just get whacked with, we need fi 16 yeah, yeah, signs yeah. on Holly Circle. Yeah, right. You know. So how about I know that's in front of them is the parking on Pleasant Street. Yeah. Now if it's just a matter of allowing parking, you can probably just put spaces. Am I correct? You can put a sign. Parking no. Allowed. No. no you could take open. down a sign that says no parking allowed. So that's got to save money right there. <laughs> sell it to Southampton. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask a, a little question? cottage industry? When these were put in, were the co new federal codes no. No. in place? They just changed the code. Uh, 2010, 2010. So they don't give you, like, the next time you replace them, fix them, they, they're making you change well, them ahead of time? What they did, what they, it, it, I think in 2012, they said you have like two years to do them or something. But they're not running around. They don't have enough people. Can I tell you something? The world and don't put that money in, because I, I won't vote for it. I, I'm really pissed at that. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> well, it's 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 a lot. It's a lousy mandate because it doesn't. It, what does it solve? What problem does it solve? It's hundred thousand dollars. Somebody somewhere has a street money. sign that's offending someone. We we have guardrails that are falling apart. That yeah, we need you, you got to fix them. An actual <laughs> thing that needs right. to break. An actual yeah. safety. So, if they want you to change the signs, tell them to give you the money. A little off the track. <laughs> Sorry, I just let's lost go it on in, that. Let's go into waste. <laughs> <laughs> let's go into deep, the recycling and waste. Yeah, and let's go into some waste. Waste. So this is something that Patty's um, really done a um, an excellent job on. You know, coordinating this and trying to get this back. As you can see, uh, looking at 14 and 15, it had been you know a few years. So Patty looked into <coughs> it, um, actually coordinate, coordinated the whole thing and got together with um, also shared with some area with Southampton. And um, because we do know if you're not having you know waste, they are putting it somewhere. So this is something that she's been working on. This is mostly hazardous. The need. Yeah, the small piece is hazardous. A big hunk of it and we keep getting hit and I'm trying to find a way around the electronics. I cannot find a way. They have, <coughs> since this has gone up, they've gone up another $600 on it. Up of $3,000. They've gone up another 600 for the year. For the container? For the container yeah. and picking up. So I'm trying to find a way and I'm, we're talking to mm -hmm. the mayor about maybe there's money we can somehow build a shed and then we won't have to. Does a resident have to pay for the, if they the give sticker. you a TV? Yeah. 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 There's yeah. stickers yeah. and then there's punch cards. Right. For the highway department. To so bring you, you get a sticker and it allows you to bring one TV or something? It's by dollar amount, so you yeah. buy a punch card and you can bring it. But the cost of electronics is just skyrocketing. It does, does cover the whole thing. And then you get somebody throwing off 40 TVs in a, in the, right. off near mm -hmm. Oliver Street in and the, across the landfill. The and we, it's on city property. We have to clean it up and we have to get rid of it. What was that, 1300 bucks or something? And even when I did hazardous waste last year, I had to cut it off. That was sad. And the line was. The line was out. The people were supposed to make appointments. A lot mm -hmm. of people showed up. They didn't have appointments. Mm -hmm. We had to turn people away. Um, but we keep telling them we're going to do it every year. We've Is that oil and years. stuff? No, no oil. It's um, all oil paint, paint. Mm -hmm. um, solvents, yeah. um, mercury. Batteries? The monitors. No, we don't cook batteries because we take that down. So we, we take batteries and oil at the highway okay. garage. Right. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. So this is the heavier stuff that people have, and the lacquers, no the paint thinners, yeah. mm -hmm. and everybody's allowed Pesticides. to bring a blue tote. Are you tote. cheaper than Valley for all this? For what? They don't do hazardous. Right. They don't do any hazardous. Right? No. I don't think they're licensed. We have to they do have a company that comes in and sets up. Well, good. When's next one? October 15th. Trash remove city buildings. Does do so still That's do stuff me. for us? Excuse me. Does do so do it? We actually we did bid this out, and they are at one time we had I thought they four gave us different some. haulers, um, and this was one of the ones that we sent out. Um, we you know we did this one out last year, and do so is now our now our hauler. and it's a lot cheaper than was before because right. you bid it out. Um, well, it's it's not because it's not necessarily because of that. What Tusa was doing for a lot of years was not charging us for a lot of buildings. They weren't charging for anything for the school. They weren't charging for a lot of our buildings. And you know we have different trash haulers picking up at the park, picking up at the uh, water department, all different places. So they, you know, 
they said they can no longer, obviously, for obvious reasons, afford to be doing all this for free. So, but they would continue, um, you know, so what we did is we bid it out and they, when they bid it, it they still offered the schools, right? Mm -hmm. So they, st when their bids came in, obviously they were better than anyone else's because the schools were still um, a zero price. Oh, wow. So, but it was a fair process. We went through the procurement process, but it came back in their favor, which, you know, we were all pleased. Yeah. And it's a lot easier one, one place instead of four. At one time there were four or five. Uh, next is sanitary landfill. That's for taking care of the cap landfills. We have the one on Loudville, the one on Oliver Street. Then we have to pay for mowing. We pay Northampton. Our taxes are stormwater. We have to pay the engineers, and we have to do the monitoring and the gas monitoring for the wells up there. So it's all mandates. Okay. So what did you say about paying Northampton? What are we paying Northampton? Because we own a piece of little land, and so they charge us storm water, okay. and then we have to pay them a little taxes. So, remind anybody have any more questions? This is the end of public work. Anything else? Hey, um, so I can give the right amount. I feel bad. Is it? Uh, one million six hundred ninety-four thousand six twelve. We're looking at the summary for the entire thing, Melissa. Is that the right figure I should be using? One million six ninety-four six twelve thirty-nine. Yeah. Okay. I move that we accept the appropriation as requested by the mayor of one million six hundred ninety-four thousand six hundred twelve dollars and thirty-nine cents for all departments under the Department of Public Works. Second. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Done. Thank you guys. Well, you, you, we'd love to leave, but oh, <laughs> do we have to do enterprise? We don't have to. No, but we're not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, but we're not coming back. Awesome. All right. The business that is enterprise. I have any questions there? How many people is that for the two hundred and forty seven? That's the sore there's six. Actually, it's, you, it's five and a half five and because a half. the supervisor is half water, half sewer. So it's five staff, and the supervisor is paid halfway out of sewer, halfway out of water. Is it less because we have a new yes. director and it's yes. not quite as high as yes. Tommy was? Yes. Like, where was he paid? At? That's mid, not mid level or getting into the <laughs> lower level? Uh, Just a different pay. Mid, mid, probably mid. I don't. Yeah. Don't, okay. don't, don't quite recall. Well, but, but he's very, very. very you're well happy with him. He's yes, very well qualified. Very happy. We're very happy. Where is he from? Comes out of Northampton. Okay. Okay. So he's a lot of How come we're always getting rid of everybody? There it is. No, we're just stealing. <laughs> we're just stealing. Them. We're stealing good. <laughs> That's because you're better bosses, I'm sure. They I, love well, it here. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> so for the sewer, so miscellaneous professional services is that again? Yeah. Police and. Police. Big okay. chunk of that is police. Okay. Any other questions on sewer enterprise there? Sewer enterprise. Looks like everything is. The concrete we pay for, that's to repair like pump housings and things like that. The bituminous concrete is to pay the ditches after. After the sewer department digs up to fix the pipe, the highway department patches the ditches, but so we have to charge the blacked up. Okay. Okay. I like how it's called bituminous concrete. I know. We love really we're talking <laughs> about that word today. We're it's not concrete, guys. It's black. I can spell it, but I couldn't say it. What's travel meals? They can peg over. Patty goes out and has a you know, yeah, big meal. Dinner. Nice. Mm -hmm. If they work over four and a half hours, over time, they get a meal ticket. That's contract over. That's contract. And that's typical of most yes. you know, contracts, even whether it's city or any kind. Okay. So, uh, I'm maybe that's the same line, but for CPA. What are you uh, looking at? 
I just happen to be actually trying to get to where I want. I haven't come across any questions. So do they, like most departments, do they request a budget or do they just get? Yeah, it's being what? discussed tomorrow night. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. it's not tomorrow night. Okay. <laughs> to, to come future attractions. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to get to your I know the, I know the chair okay. of that committee well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Coming, yeah, yeah. coming, coming attractions. Uh, nothing else on sewer? Anybody? Okay. Moving to sewer capital, there's nothing. I'm just going down. Wastewater. How many P8 staff? Why is it less than last year? Um, salary. Their salary is under wastewater value. It was 391 actual and adjusted, and now it's 386. I think there's newer people. I think we had a couple newer people, people retire. So the newer people retired. have entry level salaries, things right. like that. Professional services, 260, that's for bringing in someone professional to do work. No, 5319 is for our, the biggest cost is sludge. And that's the cakes that come yeah. out after they're processed. It has to be transported. To Connecticut, and then they're burned. The problem is, is that the plant in Connecticut is coming up against some new regulations, and they don't know if they're going to be able to continue their processing. So we're kind of worried about where we're going to. That number big change. They change dramatically. Where else can you send it? Well, they, they don't know. know. That's the problem. Yeah. We're looking for an interest in sludge. <laughs> wow, what do we do? Get no, across the bridge when we get to it? <laughs> it's very similar to what happened in Northampton with their landfill. They closed the landfill. In they had no place to no put those. Like, mm -hmm. you know, what are you thinking? You know? So who's making them close it? The feds? There, I'm sure it's uh, I'm sure it's an EPA yeah. requirement air, that they have to meet with with air, certain air, air, air quality and standards. Air quality and and they would have to upgrade. Right, to upgrade, they'd have to put tons of money in, and it's like they will probably. I'm sure they're looking at going. Is, is that feasible for us to do that, or just shut the doors? Or charge everybody who brings their pledge a lot more money? Well, that's, well, that's what we're looking at. Mm -hmm. Either but way, you didn't ask for more money yet. You're waiting no. to see. Well, 15, but that's not. Because you'd have no idea what, when, where, how. Well, Okay. Just another coming attraction. <laughs> well, it's good to I'll remember it when we get the big supplemental. Mm -hmm. Any other questions on what wastewater treatment plan? I don't know if it's directly related, but you know, there's a lot of news with Northampton is now dealing, and I know you have introduced us to the pain to come <laughs> about <laughs> stormwater management. Mm -hmm. Whether is that are we dealing with that day? year by year already, or is that going to hit us hard all of a sudden? Or? Well, what's happening on the federal level is um, DEP and EAP are actually fighting each other so that it doesn't, they don't throw those mandates on us that were supposed to happen probably, what, two years ago, right. Joe? Right. So they're trying, um, the federal government is trying to say, like, you know, there's a lot of legislative arguments on this that cities and towns just can't handle this. Mm -hmm. So what we've been doing to be proactive is that study right. that, that we're in the process of. Yeah. So you can take this, this. There's this thing called MS4, municipal stormwater something something, four or three S's after the stormwater. And there's regulations that go along with it that EPA says this is what everybody will do. And <coughs> that the, some, of the, some of the requirements that we have to do is we have to go around to all our outfall lines that say they dump stormwater like into the pond and sample them at certain times of the year and within certain times of a rainstorm mm -hmm. to make sure that we're below the levels of pollutants that are going into this. We don't have any staff to do that. So we either get staff or we hire that out to somebody to, to do that. Those are all things that are going to cost big, big money mm -hmm. at some point. Uh, right now we're going through this integrated water resource management plan that we're going to identify not only problems in our or upgrades or things that we need to correct in our water department and in our sewer and wastewater, but also it's going to tell us what we really need to do with our, with our stormwater. And you're looking the, at pipes, you're looking at everything. Mm -hmm. All the infrastructure. We're, yes, yes. Um, we're, we're, 
we're looking at costs that would probably blow water and sewer out of the water. What you're looking at here for water and sewer. Well, yeah. So that's why it's being fortune. held up at the federal level right. with a lot of pressure from all legislators, you know, uh, every association in Massachusetts. Uh, in the bigger the city, the bigger the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the bigger the number is going to be uh, as far as what they've got to put into it. That's okay. We'll just give everybody leaded water. <laughs> Let it like they did in Flint. Yeah. I mean, if that's okay. Somebody should go to jail over that. Oh, yeah, they okay. definitely can. Oh, yeah, but it's a Republican administration. Never mind. Shut okay. up. Okay. I'm oh, shutting up now. Back to sludge. <laughs> yeah, that was sludge. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Uh, we're off of wastewater treatment. Anything else on wastewater treatment? Okay, sewer waste but reserve. That's a typical amount, 15,000 in case they need it. Water enterprise. Is that a 315? Is that a person? Are we increasing? We're increasing one person. Water? Water. Means How far? Brings us to six and a half. So that's the, uh, we that's have a part the other timer. one. Is that what that means? That half person is the, the supervisor. The supervisor that works on yeah. the, in the sewer department. Sewer department. He supervises water in the sewer, the sewer collection. Oh, so you have to pay for Actually, my book, but yeah. that's weird. Okay. So that's the other addition. So it's six and a half, yeah. So, so, so under Public Works, they receive two employees, one highway and one water. Uh, one water. Okay. And it looks like with some of these new mandates, we might be required faster than not to have to have an extra right. person by how big our plant is and the right. requirements, once again, that they're putting in front of us. Okay. So we're looking ahead. So does this person exist, or you just not have a budget? Now we're looking July 1st. We're hoping this to is, be able This to is one of the positions I added to this year's budget. And the okay. highway person doesn't exist yet either. No, right? none, of, none of them do. So They're for existing the fiscal in this year budget. to begin. So as soon so as the budget is soon as the budget is approved, mm -hmm. it'll be for July first yeah. that they would, you know, try to get somebody going. Right. Great. I see nothing else underwater that I have a question. Do you have anything? Cut back. No, it's good. Okay. Well, here's an interesting one. Water plants gotta communicate. SCADA. SCADA. Supervisory and control acquisition data, something or other. And it went up from three to fifteen? Yeah, we are working with an old SCADA system. Now, there's that software issues? Yeah, we, yeah, what the SCADA system does is there's a computer down in the water department that is hooked to all the stations. So you can go in and control all the stations from that thing. Whether you want a pump or shut a pump off, it tells you if the pump's running, tells you what your levels are in your tanks and everything like that. It was put in in 1995. Same software is running that thing since 1995. And guess what? 1995 software. We're having problems with it. We need to upgrade. We need so to that's what that is an upgrade in right. software. Good idea. Yeah. It's not done. It, it's, it's, it was, what am I thinking of? It, it, what it, was it? DOS. Before we have DOS. Is it DOS? Is it? <laughs> Hello, 95 was just about I think DOS. It, I think that was Windows 1 or whatever yeah. that was. <laughs> Holy now, crap. is that something you'll put out to bid? Or do you have a sense that it's going to be around 15000 mm -hmm. Well, what's probably going to happen is that there's different components to it. So uh, th there's there's hardware components to it. There's software components to it. So we will be probably, probably using different in vendors phases. in phases to you know to get. And it. if it was all together um, under it, thirty-five thousand right. is bid. So it, over ten would be pri three price three quotes. Price. Okay. If it was, you know. Okay. And because you can use different vendors, you don't have to bid it. That's that's the idea. So yeah. hardware is one vendor, Put software is another vendor. Right. right. Okay. Alrighty. Anything else, guys? No. Water Enterprise, something there. Reserve fund is 15. Water Capital, we don't have anything there. 
grand total. Am I reading the right figure? Oh, that's the grand total of the whole budget. Yes, I'm going up to enterprise. Any other questions on enterprise? So, two three two five seven five six eleven point one one. Is that correct? That's correct. That's correct. So I move that we accept the mayor's requested budget of two million three hundred twenty-five thousand seven hundred fifty-six dollars and eleven cents for all the departments and under the department called enterprise. Second. All in favor? Now you can go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Sure. Five o'clock's a little better, right? Oh, love five o'clock. Yeah, five o'clock. You, you don't mind? Yeah. You're best friends. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Give me a lot of friends when I asked you and, guys. And Joe, you, um, you and Patty are going to also go to the, the public hearing. Oh, absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Right. Okay, so, yeah. Hey, Joe. I'd ask you this for twice. Should you think cut the whole thing down or rebuild that? Or what, what happens there? What happens here is they, they go through the machine, grind it up. Grind it up, that's what I thought. Put it back down, put a layer on top. Okay, good. That's what I thought. Uh, we did everything. Public safety. So you guys know I was requested to put the fire department last. So we'll do public safety, but we'll wait and go to everything else because Chief Motter is going to be late. Okay. The uh, pitcher is going to hit a hundred strikeouts, so he's hoping it's going to happen at the very beginning. The softball? Yes. So I'm going to go. I'm going to. I'm going to head Tell to the game to stay at and four. Watch the game. Well, I'm going to. I'm going to run down at four and be back here at five. But he he said you know as soon as that he'll head over. I told him I could text. Why don't we hold the meeting down in the park? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have 48 hours notice. Do we, do we, or did we talk to we not talk about CPA in this process? It's oh. under section 9, community preservation, tomorrow night. Tomorrow, tomorrow night. The other it's thing, not listed. Public safety, general government. It was redone when I, when Barbara yeah. told me to yep. redo it because I, we forgot it. Yep. It's so you have an older night. agenda. The agenda was redone, and she sent them out again. Yeah, she did. Um, the other thing that um, that Joe just brought up is plastic uh, bags. Is tomorrow night too? The um, the the first the first public hearing. Yeah, and that's at that's gonna six. be downstairs at six. I told Tamara I saw her at the store. She probably didn't want to move that upstairs. It might have a lot of people. I would I would think because I know that I'm talking about up way up. That I know, but I, that's what I was saying. I would think because I you know, I've obviously been in touch with Mo and I know she was sending it out to all the businesses, which is which is great because that's what you're looking for is input. Yeah. Okay, adjourn. It's up to you. All in favor? Move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye.